Hello and welcome to a tutorial on how to insert a pivot table into an Excel spreadsheet. A pivot table is a really useful tool to help you summarise and analyse your data in a spreadsheet without manually going through and sorting, grouping, adding subtotals and manual calculations. It will quite quickly add in totals for you or count values for you. So you can use it to summarise large sets of data as long as that data has got some numerical information in it it will then calculate that information for you as you see fit. Within your pivot table, you'll be able to still use filtering, sorting and grouping options and conditional formatting to help you interrogate the data even more. The best thing about a pivot table is that it refers to the data and you can remove it without having any impact on the data whatsoever. So it's quite a safe way of analyzing your information. On the screen we're going to insert a pivot table to look at the number of sales made by month and by salesperson. The first thing we need to do is to go into the insert tab and choose pivot table which is under the first group on the left side. Because my mouse was in E5, Excel has automatically picked up and selected the whole area of the spreadsheet that has got data in as my data range. If I need to change that I can click into the cell and select a different area. You've then got the option of whether you want to put your pivot table into an existing worksheet or into a new worksheet. I'm going to use existing worksheet and then in location I need to click into the cell on the spreadsheet to tell it where I want it to go. Click OK and a pivot table has been added. The pivot table field list appears on the far right of the screen in its own pane and we've got a pivot table one diagram on screen ready for us to go to. Each column of our data, so product, year, month, sales, salesperson, region, has been added in as a field. And you do need to make sure that when you're adding your titles into the data, that they are only text, not numerical values, and that they are only on one row. Otherwise, it won't pick them up as pivot table fields. But now we've got the pivot table field list up, we can click onto one of our fields such as product and it will put that into the pivot table for us. The image of the pivot table has been updated to show the information. If we then want to put in month, we are starting to get a bit more information, add salesperson and each of these items have been added into the row section at the bottom of the pivot table field screen. However, we can put information into columns as well. So I'm going to drag salesperson into columns and release the mouse at the moment we don't have any numerical values. So to actually get our numerical values in we need to click the sales field because that's our sales figures. And you can see that's instantly been added into the value section of the pivot table field list and the numbers are now showing on screen. If we look on screen we've got a total for boots and shoes and trainers We've got the minus symbols next to them, so we can click on the minus and shrink the information up, so we've only got the totals on screen, or we can click on the plus to expand to see the information below. We also have a grand total added in for us automatically, which is both by product type and by salesperson. If we want to add region in as well, we can click on region and it will add region in. That's now showing us the sales for trainers for January and how the figures are broken down between east, north and south. So to summarise in all of the information for us without adding one autosum or for formula into the information. If we click off the pivot table, you can see the pivot table field list has disappeared. Click back onto the pivot table, the pivot table field list is back, together with the pivot table tools ribbon at the top of the screen, which we will look at more closely in another video. So in this video we've seen how we can insert a pivot table into a spreadsheet, how we need to consider what information is in our headers when we pull data into a pivot table, how we can tick and untick fields and whether they appear as rows or column labels and how numerical data will automatically be added to the value area of the pivot table and added up for us. 